your proprioception. Okay. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another Kla Asic episode of Parkour Journeys. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> You're thinking, Liam, why should I waste it? You're thinking, my time is very valuable. Why should I waste it watching you? What are we doing today? What are we gonna get? Are we gonna learn anything? Are we gonna enjoy ourselves? What are we gonna get out of watching this video today? Well, I'll tell you. We've got three chapters to today's story and I've been whirling over which ones I wanted to send, send what journeys I wanted to send you on first. But I think we're gonna start off with some nice parkour in Brighton, which is the most action-packed portion of this video. And then we're gonna go meet the Bioneer, who is an amazing YouTuber with some very good insights on uh, fitness development and he's gonna share some of that with us. I taught him some parkour and that was like a really good time. And, and then I'm gonna take you on a little trip. I took my lovely lady Emily to the Lake District. And that was a pretty passive trip until I tried to climb this sheer mountain when it was completely raining and I nearly died. So that was a really enjoyable experience and I'm excited to share that with you as well. So I've just finished editing the bit that is the Lake District bit and I just wanted to make sure that you go and watch that even if you feel like you're gonna skip the rest of this video, just make sure you go and watch that as some really, uh, there's just a really good moment at the end and I, I really believe it can help you. So just make sure you go and see that at the end, all right? So we've got quite the action-packed episode. Stay tuned, sit back, enjoy, grab yourself a cup of tea, a little bit of whatever you want, and uh, yeah, just prepare to be fully entertained and immersed. You know by now, this is what you get with Parker Journeys. I mean, come on, it's the best thing you watch and you know it, admit it, admit it in the comments below. All right, let's crack on, let's crack on. Uh, Brian, we're on our way to uh, Brian. Is that, is that what's happening? Is that what's happening? Yeah, some coffee and ginger, and then fucking buzz. Buzz, buzz off, mate. Buzz, buzz off. off. Buzz light year. Buzz light year to infinity and beyond. We found this new place called Leon. Well, I didn't find it. My man Ben showed me. It's like this amazing, like healthy food takeaway. And they do ginger shots, organic coffee, and and like you can get like a lentil curry for like five quid. And it's beautiful. And we found out that there's one in Brighton, so that's the first place we're heading. But we got in Brighton today. As you may have worked out, should be meeting up with my man Connor again, which you probably saw from last week, and maybe some other exclusively, you know, cool, like the cooler free runners, you know, like the ones that you know better because you've seen more frequently on, on the social media, and therefore they have higher status in the community. Oh, cutting straight <laughs> in, cutting straight into the problem. <laughs> Don't call it a problem, it Just, makes it a problem. Oh no. Created a problem. It wasn't a problem. It's no problem before I made it a problem. We love you. We love you. Not, not you though. No, all the others. Finally made it to Brighton, and like Connor's asked us to meet us in, meet him in this like out of the way spot that we finally just found. Taking a quick piss. And now we may proceed with the proceedings. This is one of those like really ration your body sessions. It's right, just come over there, mate. I'm not talking to you, don't worry. Alright, well this is really one of them ration your body sessions. It's what he's saying. <laughs> you really gotta take in the ration. It's World War II, we're back in the blitz, baby. Yeah, that's alright. Yeah. Get the down the script, did I, I get it right? It. Thank you, mate. Hey, what is this little button? And once this button is done, we are done. Man, that was like I got perfect foot positioning on the 180. No grimy, slick swiggle that I was getting before. Yeah, it's just sometimes it's luck of the foot placement draw with the 180. So I'll take half credit for being half decent. Next spot. Next spot. Next spot. Next spot. 
Damn, that is uh, really fun. We've come to this other spot. It's like soaking wet on the floor part. But if you stay on the walls, you can just about get some, get some grip. We have the worst luck with Brian, man. It's always soaking wet when we're here. But this is a fun challenge and I uh, don't know how hard it looks because when I watch Kieran do it, it looks well easy. But I know how tricky all of this is because mainly you got to do a lot of work and then step on that tiny little piece there. Super fun challenge, though. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Nice one, sir. I don't know what's happening with all up here. But of course, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. This like that sends the whole. <laughs> yeah, it sends it sends your upper body into a right spasm because you're just watching your feet the whole time. Damn it! Go on. I'm basically just trying to get my foot placement on this bar like really nice, but it's throwing all of my weight backwards. Yeah. Yes, mate. <laughs> yes, sir. I think that's as fast as I can get this little wankly bit, but. There you go, mate. I didn't actually want to do another one of those. I had to really settle my nerves. It's quite twinkle toey, you know what I mean? So it's like really accurate foot placement and then uh, a lot of it. So you're kind of like ooh, 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 on every jump. So it's getting you really like up into your buzzy space. Can't talk today. Uh, Wasn't that the exact same spot you did that? Yeah, yeah, but I didn't do the first bit. I know. Let's go. Okay. Um, back around again. Whoa, how did you do that? Comment below, how did you do that? 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 And how did I do this? <laughs> uh, sorry, hang on. <laughs> okay, cool. We went to this middle spot and we got um, we had a lovely game of stick. And we never seem to film our game of stick for you, but I just don't believe you're going to find them interesting, but they are quite fun when we do them. So comment below if you want to see the game. Games a stick. Either way, we're at another spot now, totally cooked. But it doesn't matter because Kieran's on a roll. Cool. Yes, mate. That's pretty much a one bang, huh? Almost. Yeah, sweet. That's pretty close, boys. Pretty close. Quickly before the rain goes. Before the rain comes, let's go one more. Man down. Sorry, man. No? It's pretty wet now. It's too wet now. <laughs> it's too wet, but we get, we got a good one in the bag. You can join it. Yeah, I can get this one as well if it's right. Yeah, yeah, sure, man. Nice. That's cool. Wasn't that a lovely segment? I hope you had a good time in Brighton with us. If you are still here, guys, I would really appreciate it if you did subscribe. If you want to see more of this kind of content, if you enjoy these videos, then please do consider subscribing. Make sure you leave us a like if you have liked this video and comment down below. Let us know what you're thinking, you know, because I do appreciate your thoughts and I'd love to hear all about what's tumbling around in your head, you know what I mean? And I will reply as well. Unlike those nasty big YouTubers who never reply to you, I care, I care about you very much. <sighs> on, on to the next segment, let's go meet the Bionet. What's up guys, welcome back to another not so classic episode of Parkour Journeys. I've got a knot in my back and someone smashed my wing mirror. Let's have a positive episode. We're here with the Bionet, the man himself. Look at those massive <laughs> biceps. We're making a bit more of a professional video for his channel, but See. I'm gonna 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're gonna we're gonna take you through some chill stuff today. We'll do some um, parkour in the forest environment and take you through what I might teach you if you if you were just beginning. See how that goes. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. Very, you excited? <laughs> yeah, super excited. Yeah, so I'm worried a little bit about injuring myself, but really <laughs> like looking forward to checking this stuff out. Actually, big fan of parkour and free running. Just was never very good at it. So this is my opportunity to maybe get a little tiny bit good at it, and I can yeah. practice this stuff on my own hopefully. Yeah, but yeah, man, the, sure. the functional benefits of parkour are massive, I think, for everyone. So yes. Yeah. Yeah, massive crossover there. Cool. Yeah, and I'd be interested to hear what you what you have to say about like where we could improve uh, in terms of parkour, like our functional training to, to help us get better at the moves. So yeah. like what you might see from what you try and do here today. Yeah, outside <laughs> of coming in and telling you, yeah. <laughs> do it like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I have some ideas that I can share. Like, yeah. So bear in mind as well, we've just met and we are now trying to shoot two videos in one go in about a couple of hours time. Yeah. So like, <laughs> that's how I roll. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. A professional, like you say. <laughs> First things first is always make sure that you've got your squat nice and warmed up. So we're, we're just trying to get all the way down, trying to keep the back straight. Toes facing forwards if you can, heels on the floor. And you, basically you want to be able to get to this position because whenever you're doing a landing, it's always like the more flexible you are here, the less likely you're going to have undue pressure to a knee or an ankle or something like that, right? So It's crazy how many people just can't get into this position as well, especially in yeah. barefoot shoes. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah, for sure. The heel makes a massive difference to your squat mobility and you don't realise, you take yeah. them off and oh man. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> there's some missing exactly. there. Yeah, for sure, man. I kind of, so I, I go heel down and then I roll over and then ah, come back. That's cool. <sighs> balance, my balance failed me. Ah, yeah. So like, cause like that. that's, a, that's a cool little addition. Yeah, because it's like a bit different for your hip and then a bit more on your ankle as well. And basically just trying to move through all kinds of range of motion here. Because I found with my warm up now this, it's literally just putting your body into the different positions that it might end up in. Like no static stretching, I don't do any of that anymore. I mean, this is fairly static. Yeah. Dynamic in that it's that we're moving. Yeah. But we're still holding these positions for a few minutes and definitely feeling the stretch. And I actually think that static stretching has been a little bit demonized. Oh really? Well static stretching before workout, you know the studies say don't yeah. do it yeah, anymore yeah. because you'll um you know it apparently increases your likelihood of injury. Uh-huh. But like, I was talking to JC Santana and he says, you know, most athletes like you know, an MMA fight will do some static stretches really yeah before they huh. you know maybe like in the changing room and he says it's enough time before right the fight so oh okay like throughout the day yeah. and stuff but yeah like, if I'm gonna try and do a handspring I will do like a back bridge or something yeah 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 and it's it makes a world of difference yeah so yeah to say to someone never do that no I, I completely agree I, I would actually say that for me what I'll do is all my static stretches in the morning so like I wake up yeah. and then align myself with the static stretches and then like I can do more of a, a functional warm up just beforehand, like yeah. immediately beforehand. Yeah, so and that could be the difference. The yeah, 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 yeah. Because I, I find with me, like if I, if I, if I, for example, just static stretch my quad out, yeah. then like I get so much more pressure to my knee yeah. because it's not there ready to, yeah. if that makes sense. Like, absorb the impact. Yeah, yeah, the exactly. Yeah. There's a nuance to it and yeah. like the right stretches could be beneficial. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the, like maybe some of yeah, your viewers might be interested in is, is the relationship between what we're talking about, the proprioception mm. and the working memory. Yeah, so, yeah. I don't know if you've heard about this, but like your working memory is like your ability, often described as your ability to store numbers. So if you're trying to remember a phone number, then your ability to store those numbers okay. is, is working memory until you go and write it down. Sure. But it's like also, RAM. yeah, exactly, exactly like RAM. But it's also like multi sensory. Okay. So your proprioception requires you to be aware of so many different things at the same time. So you can train your working memory at that capacity to be aware of different body parts at once. So it's mm. actually a form of, of brain training. Right. So when someone says to you, like, you punch like this, twist your hip, like, you know, stay loose, turn your arm, and you're like, oh, I forgot that bit, I forgot that bit. That's literally like the same thing that prevents you from doing maths. It's the right. same mental capacity. Uh -huh. So you actually, this is actually fantastic brain training as well, mm -hmm. because it, you know, many people consider like juggling to be fantastic with brain training, because it's the exact same thing. You're aware of all those balls at once. It's juggling information, even though it's not information as in numbers, what we typically associate with information. It's, you know, this multi-sensory information. So yeah, that's one yeah, of my- Non-linear. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So this, this won't only prevent your body from degrading over time. This kind of training will prevent your mind also from degrading over time. If you want to stay limber and sharp. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, and learning new things is nice. fantastic. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. Like people will obviously think of parkour as like a set, like gymnastics, you've got like set moves that you have to do to perform. With parkour, like anyone who really practices it, it's more about finding like just fun little challenges like this. Like nothing about this has a name, like there's no name to this. Um, there's no parkour specific move. It's just like, oh, we found some fun tree in the forest and now we're going to try and 
do this thing with it and it's like in, in just enjoyment parkour to me means like enjoying myself through any kind of movement yeah and that's what it means like that's that's what you want to go for yeah no yeah. it's well like we were saying like it's just mad that people don't do this kind of thing more often and it's like so almost like villainized to yeah. like jump on things climb on things yeah which is such like a, a natural way to move and yeah and behave you know it's, so, it's such a shame that we're just so, we're just so limited in what we're allowed to do and then just everyone's perception of it becomes you shouldn't be doing that because you're gonna hurt yourself everyone's like it's, it for some reason has the projection that they're gonna like you're gonna snap your neck you're gonna die and they're gonna have to deal with it it's gonna become their problem that's what we hear yeah. all the time you're like we'll have to clean up the mess when you die it's like <laughs> nice to see where your head's at bro <laughs> yeah. so i had a really a really fun session today i like learned loads right yeah. you've, you've got, like, <laughs> got, you managed to get so managed, much yeah no yeah. We, yeah i think there's loads of yeah. useful info in there hopefully think, yeah yeah had a lot to to share with each other yeah yeah <laughs> what do you think about like learning parkour for someone who's just like, oh. not on it like 100 percent. that's one of the, the big things i wanted to say in, in the video we're making as well is just that like this is like you're learning proprioception to move your body it's mobility it's explosiveness and balance and these are all things that anyone can be training like people think i need to get fit so i better do lift heavy weights and run long distances but those are like just two things your body can do and parkour covers a wide like gamut of stuff you can do and it's so much fun and so rewarding and like just now like the, the thrill of learning a new move is like unparalleled. When you do that, it becomes intrinsically motivating. So mm. yeah, 100% recommend it. And like we've been saying, it doesn't have to be necessarily like doing the crazy flips and stuff. Like you don't have to be good at it. You can do the easiest thing yeah. and still benefit from it. Look at that smile on his face, man. You can't get that anywhere else. Yeah. That's what it's for. Yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. We've got parkour high. Straight up. <laughs> yeah. This is uh, the Bioneer. Definitely well worth checking out his channel. Got some amazing tips on keeping your body in shape. What would you Thanks, say man. you're like, like what would you say your main channel? What's it? Like, sell it, sell it. Yeah, the, the ethos <laughs> of my channel is kind of what I was just saying. Like I, I, I approach fitness in a slightly different way. It's not just weightlifting, not just running. It's both those things, and it's like everything else. And that's what I think um, training can be. I like talk about training like superheroes, try and make it a little bit sort of you know more exciting and stuff. But just you know, your body can do so much. And it's about it's talking about that really, not just training in a really sort of linear or um, tribal manner where you feel stuck or boxed into one modality so yeah if you want to like dabble in different things then stop on by and uh, yeah there's a, a wide range of stuff so take your pick really <laughs> yeah right well worth well worth checking out and hopefully we will get back together another time with yeah, a bit more time absolutely, i'd awesome. love to have like a proper conversation with you about yeah. like how to take care of your body and yeah. i'd love to bring that to you guys so Ditto. lots of questions yeah man yeah. cool yeah, awesome right. lots of good taster good taster yeah. today Ditto. yeah, yeah. <laughs> thanks for watching guys it was super awesome to go and meet the bionic and i'm super grateful to be featured on his channel so if you want to see the entire Entire episode of me teaching him how to do parkour and go and check out some of his other stuff because he's just got so many amazing videos that are just so good and so transferable to parkour and parkour athletes so just go check that out on his channel and uh, yeah on to the next segment nice. we're cooking up some uh Lovely. Food for dinner, a couple of beers, and we should be waking up to a pretty lovely view, so. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. No, look at this fucking place. It's just a nice little lovely village around here, isn't it? So good. We've just been super naughty and uh, parked in a hotel car park without paying for anything in the hotel. Yeah, there's video evidence. Video evidence? Don't take us to court. The Not inn. so beautiful man everyone trying to get away from england where you playing at man it's so good here right. you crazy fucks if you just put the name of like sweden here yeah everyone would be like oh, i'm gonna sweden this summer yeah right and I'm gonna... yeah it's like 
I feel like people just want a different place to say, not to say that they've been to a different place, but to feel like they're in a different place. Yeah, yeah. But coming here in the van, like, I feel like I'm in a whole different world here. <laughs> gonna walk up there get to the top go yay we're at the top and then head back down to this awesome area where we'll cook up some, some lovely food <laughs> Emily's been struggling with a bad knee recently herself she's recently managed to sort of overcome a lot of the pain which is so awesome which means we can actually do walks like this together which is absolutely awesome, isn't it, man? This is just like jumping across all the rocks and finding some new ways of moving, which is so sick. <laughs> Emily's gonna have a little breather because her knee has reached maximum capacity. I'm gonna quickly get up to this peak bit and then uh, come back down and have some food. Uh, not much of a story, just uh, super beautiful this place, isn't it? So that's what it is. Rocks are a lot more slimy than they looked from the bottom. I don't really know where to go now. That's too steep. Oh, fuck. What am I like, huh? I mean, I'd like to just find the right route and... I don't know, man. Uncharted territory. Poor Emily waiting for me down there, bless her. I think what I'm gonna try and do is traverse over to that bit and then up there. I can make it, I can make it. I can make it. Right.
Come on. Yes, yes, hell yeah, that's it, just there, and we're good, I'm on a fucking run bit, perfect, yes, oh. fucking yes, yeah, I don't think I've ever been so thoroughly out of my comfort zone in my whole life, that was just, whoa, it was because it's all slippy at any minute it felt like I could slip and slide down and all the rocks that look like an incline like this were like this and oh my god like one wrong move but that's it man like I just there was, it came to the point where like things would start entering my head and they'd be like can you find a way back down are you past the point of no return like can you go any further oh shit that bit's so steep you're never gonna get down off that and then uh I'm like, okay, I have to calm myself down. So I breathed, got rid of as much of my adrenaline as I could, you know, from all the parkour training, I know how to do that. And uh, yeah, yeah, like, and then I was like, okay, suss out a way up. Like there is a way up, you can get up, no matter what, you can get up. Just don't, that, your mind plays so many tricks on you when you're just like, your mind, can, it, it will so quickly say, you're not, confident enough for this, you're not good enough for this, you're not prepared enough for this, you're not skilled enough for this, you're not, you're not, you're not, you can't, you can't, you can't, but if you just listen to that one voice that says, yes you can, yes you can, everything's doable, everything someone can do, you can do as well, and then, and then before you know it man, you, you can do it, you just do it, I get so upset when I hear like people they have to, they're like very controlled by that voice that says I can't, you know? And as cheesy as this might be, I'm just on a real high because I've just totally beaten the fuck out of that voice. So I just wanted to share that with you guys and let you sort of see an example of that, you know, where you just, oh, where you don't, you don't let the, the false sense of things, the false sense of I can't, whoa, you know, get to you. You just don't let it get to you. And uh, you can, every single one of you can do every single thing. It's like, we're not cut from different cloth. We're not different people. I mean, obviously we've got differences, but that can really quickly transform into, he's someone who can do this and I'm someone who can't. And half the time, well, all the time, that is not the case. You always, always listen to that voice. The stronger you, the more you listen to that voice, the stronger it gets, the more you trust it. And the more you trust it, the more you can follow it, the more amazing things you get to do, the more amazing things you get to experience. That's gotta be one of the top experiences of my entire life. That one, I did not know if I'd be getting out of it. I really, really did, like I didn't know if I, if I was coming out of that one alive. But now I'm here on the other side. And that's that. Hell yeah. 